What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm here to show you how to successfully launch your rage with the new ASI alert that just come out with. Okay guys? So God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. Now guys, as you can see on the side of my screen right here, y'all like my car? It's from Forza Horizon 2. It's pretty cool. And anyway, y'all don't care about that. Y'all just want to get this thing down. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty excited about this because it works. Now, First thing I want to say before we start this is this came from one this tip came from one of my um uh one of my YouTube uh subscribers and it also came, the tip also came from my de deputy director in my Discord. So shout out to my deputy director uh Frost, he goes by Frost or Max. Shout out to you my brother. And then my my subscriber on YouTube, he goes by it's my strats. S T R A T Z. It's my strats. So shout out to you, man, for leading me through this, and uh, you know, you know, telling me how to do this, man, because I really appreciate it. I appreciate you, Max. I appreciate you. It's my strats. I appreciate both of you guys. Thank you so much for telling me about this. I got to give credit where credit is due, guys. I don't want to just take somebody's tip and then run with it and be like, you know, that I found this on my own because that's not who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm an honest person. I'm always honest about everything. So. With that being said, guys and girls, let's do this. Now, the first thing you're going to need, guys, is you're going to need the new LSPDFR 0.4.4, okay? And you're going to need the ASI loader, okay? Now, I've got all the links in the description below, all right? So if you'll click that first link that says LSPDFR 0.4.4, it's going to bring you to this page right here, guys. I'm going to lead you step for step. Trust me on this, okay? If you've watched my tutorials before, then you know where we're going, okay? So, LSPD first response, 0 0.4.4, build 7204. Now, just so you guys know ahead of time, before we ever even start installing anything, the ASI loader will cover everything. Your stop the pad, um, your CompuLite if you have that, speed radar light. The only thing it will not do is pull in your mods like your EUP, uh, your your vehicles you've installed, your realistic gun sounds, your realistic weapons, but you're still playing LSPDFR with the other plugins. So, look at the bright side of things, okay? So here we go, guys. You're going to click this green download file here. Download this file. Go ahead and click that. Scroll all the way down. We're not going to worry about this. I click agree and download. I'm going to try to get this as quick as possible. So, listen. Don't click nothing yet. Don't get the automatic setup, okay? Get the manual. Always get the manual setup. This is the one you want right here, guys. The 0 0.44 manual install. So go ahead and click that. All right, and give that just a few seconds. And it will load right up, and then we can download. Okay, so you're going to click. If you want to put it in your downloads folder, click Save. If you want it somewhere else of your choice, click Save As. Just put it somewhere where you know it's going to be, okay? So once you guys have got that, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next thing. It's going to be ASI support for Rage plugin hook. So click that link as well. It's going to bring you to this page right here. ASI support for Rage plugin hook uh, 0 0.4.0 beta. Now I don't know why it's a 4.0 when it should be a 4.4. That's I don't know. It's working, and that's all I'm happy about. So Rockstar, you can't keep us down. You can't keep us down from LSPFR. So. ASI support for Rage. You guys are going to click the green download button right here. All right. Same thing, guys. What do you want to do with the blah, 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 blah. ASI support, blah, 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 blah. You're going to uh, save it to your downloads or right here and save it where you want, okay? I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And last but not least, you are going to need Rage plugin hook version 1.69. So click that link. It's going to bring you to this page right here. If you're on this page and it takes you to the home page, like over here, then just go ahead and click Downloads right here, and it'll take you right back to this. Now, you're going, this is the last one we had. This is the most recent version we had, which is no longer available. So I hope you guys made a backup copy of that so that you always have it. You never know when you're going to need them. I have backups of almost every single one of these Rage plugin hooks, guys. Almost every one of them, okay? So go ahead and click that 1.69. It's going to immediately ask you if you want to save it, save it to your downloads, save it to where you want. Okay, guys? That simple. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to close out of that while you guys are downloading it. 
and we are done with that part now installation time guys installation time all right so pull up your gta 5 main directory now let let me tell you this guys before we start the installation too make sure before you do this you take out your there's three files from your script hook v that you have to take out and delete it out of your gta 5 main directory okay now i've already deleted them however i do have them in my recycle bin i believe let me see okay so these three folders right here are the ones that you want to take out of your GTA 5 directory. So find your script hook v.dll, then your script hook v should be right under the DLL, and then your dinput 8.dll. And all you have to do to highlight them all at once is, is highlight one, then hold down your control key, and highlight the other two, okay? And then just delete them out of there. Make sure that's the only ones you have highlighted, okay? Make sure, double check, scroll up and down, make sure it's the only three that you have highlighted. You want to delete those out because that's what the ASI loader is, is it kind of takes over the script hook V and puts in a new version of it somewhat. Okay? It, so that way we can st it still allows us to run our plugins and stuff like that. Anyway, take these three files out. Now, I'll sh if you want a better view of it, I'll show it to you on this. Um, let's see. I'll show it to you right here. So if I have the script hook V uh, file pulled up here. These these two right here are the ones you want to take out. However, there's an extra file there. Like I showed you in the recycle bin, there's a .dll and then just a regular script hook v, okay? Now you want to take out the script hook v.dll and then the script hook v and then the dinput 8.dll. So go ahead and delete those three files out of your folder. If you guys want another look at it, I'll pull up my recycle bin again. And right here is the ones you want to take out of your GTA 5 main directory, okay? So take those out, delete them. Trust me, it's not gonna hurt anything. Just trust me on this, guys. I've never led you wrong before. I'm not gonna lead you wrong now, all right? So go ahead and take those out. If you guys need a minute to look at those, it's uh, your, the, the DM put eight is gonna be your first file at the top because everything's in alphabetical order. And then I believe it goes to script hook v.dll and then script hook v or it may be vice versa. Either way, delete all three of these folders right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete them out of my recycle bin so that they're good and gone. All right. So take those out. Now that you're done with that, I'm assuming you're done. If not, then pause the video and delete them out and then come back and unpause it and continue on to where you were. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. Okay. So. We have to install the new version of, of LSPDFR, all right? So go ahead and double click that LSPDFR 0.4.4, all right? And it's going to be the manual install, of course, you guys already know. Now, it's the same as before, guys. Down here, you're going to click at the bottom, highlight everything, everything, okay? Hold down your control key and deselect license, all right? Now scroll down in your main directory until you get right here above the GTA5.exe. We're going to be, in, be installing right here in this area. Remember, I've always told you guys this. Don't install here or it'll launch the game. And don't install in the folders or anything like that or it'll just suck it up and it'll mess your whole game up, okay? And this will all have been a waste of time for you. So grab all these folders right here at once. Pull them over. Drag them. And drop them in. It's going to ask you to overwrite more than likely, okay? So go ahead and override it. All right, that's that's safe to do that. All right, and there's, there's something else we got to get into with this, but we'll do that in a little bit. Now, next thing we're going to do is you're going to double click that ASI, um, the ASI loader, okay? So we're going to bring that up. There's our ASI loader right there. All right, now, very carefully, guys, listen to me. Don't worry about this script hook v.net right here. It's just a license text. Don't worry about it. What you want to do is double click the installation folder. Okay? And you are literally going to highlight all of these right here. Okay? You're going to highlight everything. You're going to grab them. You're going to pull them in and drop them right there. Okay? That's what you're going to do. All these are going to end up in your folder. Trust me, it works. Okay? Okay. Now, once you guys got that, Go ahead and double click your Rage plugin hook 1.69 right there, okay? Let's bring that one up. All right, same as before, guys. We're going to highlight everything from the bottom up. Hold down the control key, 
deselect license, deselect SDK, grab all of these folders right here, okay? Grab all these folders and bring them over and drop them in, okay? That's all you gotta do. Now, close. let's close out of that. And we can actually go ahead and get rid of all of these shortcuts right here. Let's go and get rid of everything right there. I think I highlighted everything. I think I did. Did I? Okay. So go ahead and get rid of all them shortcuts right there. We're done with them. All right. Now, go ahead and go back to the main page here. Make sure you're on the main page. And you just want to click refresh, refresh real quick. Now, you have to keep in mind that you just installed LSPFR, a new version of LSPDFR, okay? So you're going to have to go into your LS, go to the LSPFR folder right here. You can go right here and it'll show you that LSPFR is installed. You still got all your plugins. You still got all your callouts and all that stuff. All that stuff is still going to work. The only thing that's not going to work is like your EUP, your vehicles, your realistic gun sounds, your weapons. If you have make visuals great again, anything you installed into your mods folder is not going to work, okay? So let's go on back to the main page. Double click on LSPDFR and then double click on keys, okay? Now remember guys, we did this before, okay? And we're gonna do it again. Go ahead and highlight that word none, all right? And you can either right click and hit copy or while it's highlighted, you can hit control C and it'll copy it, okay? Now, everything you see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight everything here and we're gonna go down and I'm gonna show you guys what to change, okay? Because we're not going to go through every little thing. You don't have to change every little thing, and we're not going to do it like that. So let's just scroll down here real quick. Just keep up with me. I know exactly where to go to change this stuff at. Okay, so um, let's see here. Uh, all right, so right here where it says Chase Abort Join Modifier Key, that's normally set to G, I believe, so just go ahead and put that on None. All right? And then... Uh, let's see, except call out is good. This is all good. Uh, just keep up with my mouse here, guys. See where my mouse is right here? This is the area I'm in right here. That's that's where I'm at right here, okay? I just keep it. I'll tell you guys when. I'll, I'll highlight it. I'll highlight the ones you need to change, okay? Toggle police computer. Okay, so right here where it says toggle police computer, it should, for you guys, it should say X. If it does, if there's a letter in here that says X, change it to none, okay? Because your X on your controller is what changes your weapons. And if you're changing your weapons consistently, you're going to constantly see that computer pop in and out. When all you have to do is just use the Q on the keyboard to pull your computer up. But if you're using CompuLite, you ain't got to worry about it anyway, okay? So let's scroll on down, okay? I think that's about it. There was one more... And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it had the letter A on it. Um, it was uh, police. It was the traffic stop start, I believe. Let's see. Where is that at? Right here. Okay. It's right here. Traffic stop start control modifier. That is set to A for you guys. Go ahead and set it to none. Because that A button, use that to sprint. And if you get out of your car and you sprint to the next car, it's going to cancel your traffic stop, okay? Now, that's why I do this, guys. All right, anyway, if you changed anything, everything else is good. If you changed anything, uh, click File and click Save. Or, of course, click X and click Save when prompted to, okay? Now, that's it for that, guys. Go back to your main directory. Click Refresh. Exit out. Here we go, guys. Now, if you don't have this shortcut right here, let me show you guys how to get it right quick. Go back to your main directory, if you don't have that shortcut, and scroll down to where you see this Rage plugin hook right there, okay? Right click, make sure it's highlighted, right click, and then just simply send it to your desktop, okay? Then you can close out of that, and then here is your shortcut right here, okay? See, there it is. Now, all you have to do is bring it over and drag it and pin to the taskbar. That's all you have to do, okay? So once you've done that, go ahead and delete that shortcut. Now, here's the magic part. If it sends you through a first-time setup, guys, for your for your Rage, which more than likely it won't because it didn't mean, um, go ahead and click Yes on everything and just follow the directions. 
Um, if you need any directions at all, you can go back to my other LSPFR tutorials. It's the exact same thing on Rage Setup every time. Uh, I'll leave the, those links in the description below. But let's go ahead. Let me make sure. Oh, make sure your antivirus is off. Make sure mine is off. Firewall is off. Okay, everything is off. So, let's go ahead and click Rage. Alright, now this is going to take a minute, guys. Keep in mind, this is going to take a minute. Because it has to launch Rage. It has to launch the Rockstar Launcher, of course, which is really ridiculous. I don't even know why they put that in the game. It's, okay, so it's doing that now. And then it's going to launch GTA 5. And you're going to actually see the hook process take place. So if you see Rage plugin hook at the top of your screen, after all this is taking place, after all this takes place, you'll know you've successfully done it right. Okay? That's how that's how I knew it just it pulled rage up and I was like, wow, there it is. It it completely worked. So I hope you guys uh follow my directions and I hope it's okay. There it is, guys. It hooked. Alright? There it is. It completely hooked. Now it's gonna go into the game. You just do the same as always. When you get in game, you click F four and type in force duty, tab it, hit enter, and you're good to go. Now, like I said, guys, keep in mind, the only thing that's not going to work is what's in your mods folder, okay? But, like, your plugins, uh, your CompuLite, your speed radar light, and your um, your callouts, stuff like that, they will work. Now, there was one thing I found out that didn't work for me as far as plugins go, and that was my traffic policer. However, it just may not have loaded up at the time of, of the loading screen. And it may just be completely out of date for this this uh, version of LSPFR, okay? So, if your traffic policer doesn't work, then don't worry about it. You still have your, you know, your, you still have all your other plugins and stuff. And, of course, you have your horn you can honk to make them move up, which I know it's not the same. But, uh, and if it does work for you, that's great. If you If it doesn't work and you find out a way that you can get it to work, let me know. Because I love Traffic Policer. Traffic Policer is like one of my favorite mods, uh, besides CompuLite. So, if yours doesn't work, and you find a way to get it to work, then let me know. Tell me in the comments. Now, it's going to say, loading EUP, loaded EUP, but it, it doesn't work for some reason. Or maybe I just didn't do it right, but anything in the mods folder is not working right now. Um, so... You know, my realistic weapons are gone. My realistic gun sounds are gone. It's sad but true. But see, it says loaded plugin ASI support for Rage plugin hook. So, anyway, guys, it's, you know, it is what it is. We don't have everything we really want, like as far as the mods folder go, but we have LSPFR and all our plugins. So, when you come to the game, you're going to be in a standard uniform. Okay? You're going to be in that same old standard uniform just as though you just like you just installed LSPDFR, okay? Now, it might do something a little crazy here like mine's doing. It has a tendency to bounce around a little bit, and then you'll finally load into the game. But just give it a second, guys. Just give it a second, and it will load in. See, here it goes right here. That's what I'm talking about. It might do that to you. Okay, so as you can see, it's loaded into LSPDFR. There's my character. I'm going to go ahead and hit F4 with you guys. And type in force duty. I'm going to hit tab and click enter. Now watch it freeze up and crash on me. <laughs> oh, and it did. Look, it crashed on me. It sure did. Probably because this app I'm recording on, guys, it's a, it's a weird app. Uh, so you know what? Let me do this differently. Uh, I'll see you guys in the game, okay? And here we are, guys. We're in the game. So just... Hit F4, type Force Duty, hit Enter. If the game happens to crash on you, there's a couple other ways you can try it. You can go back and run your Rage as, administra as, as administrator. Uh, you can do it like that. You can also go into Steam, go to your library, go to Grand Theft Auto, uh, hit the green play button when it goes after it goes to the Rockstar Launcher and fires up, and you see the lights and hear the sirens, and you see those three wheels start loading to the bottom of the screen. Launch Rage in. It'll hook it immediately. Uh, those are a couple of the ways you can try it. If it doesn't work for you this way, but it should work this way. Um, but it's crashed on me a couple of times, so I've had to, you know, I've had to to redo everything. But I will show you that the plugins still work. I'm gonna do stop the pet here real quick for you. 
Okay, so there's stop the bed. There's everything you need right there. Let's go ahead and uh, give him a breathalyzer test. Blow on this tube for me there, brother. Blow, blow, blow. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Thank you. I right, say so he's going to go to jail. Requesting transport. Okay, so they're not going to pick up my vocal dispatch because that is a plug and it should pick it up. Requesting transport. Okay, maybe I got to put him under arrest first. You ain't never getting out of prison. Let me place him under arrest. Maybe that was the, that's what the problem was. All right, now nah, let me try it. Requesting transport. Hey, you there we Assistance go. Needed in Davis. Go ahead and kneel down for me there, my man. So they get here. They'll be here for you in just a minute. As you guys can see, now, the only thing I can't get to work, guys, the only thing I can't get to work is one part of traffic policer, and that's... Um, I'm going to clean this car up real quick. That looks really bad. And all the vehicles on here are standard vanilla cars, but they are all ELS, as you can see. Stage two is actually pretty cool. Let me turn the headlights off and show you guys this. So there's no stage one, but there's stage two. It's got uh, the strobes in the front of the car. It actually looks pretty cool. No radiance involved, but uh, it, does, it still looks pretty bright. And there's your, there's your stage three, your sirens. Uh, primary siren is down the D-pad. Secondary siren is up on the D-pad on your controller. Now on your keyboard, primary sign will be your number one at the top of the keyboard. Secondary sign will be your number six at the top of the keyboard. Now, if you want your siren to run through all the cycles, just hit the number, hit, hit one, then hit five. Now listen, it'll run through every one of them. I swear guys, I'm not hitting any buttons. Just, you just hit the number five, it runs through all of them. Just goes back and forth, back and forth. That way it kind of keeps you from doing it manually, you know what I'm saying? See, that's it right there. All right, let me show you guys that the, uh, that the uh, EUP does not work. It's it's not working at all. Uh, the callout manager does work. I'll show you guys real quick. That's F11 on my keyboard. We're going to go to super callouts. Nice. And we're going to do, let's do aliens. All units, suspects last seen on Olympic Freeway. And we're going to go to this call real quick, and I'll show you guys this real quick. But everything else is still working. Uh, it all still works pretty good. Let's get this map up. Uh, the alien calls are pretty cool. I've been on one, and it was actually really weird, but, but really cool. Oh, there's the car right there. So whenever you see these cars, you know that's, that's where the alien sighting is, right there. Okay, and they just disappear. You start shooting them, they disappear. It's weird. So I cannot get the part of traffic police to work when you pull up behind somebody. You can make them park where you want. You can make them get over further. I can't get that part to work. However, the radar still works, but I have speed radar light for that. But just to show you guys, just so you guys will know, I'm gonna hit my um, ALPR light key, and it's gonna it's, see everything's still working. That's pretty cool though, man, it's all working, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to have this, you know, for emergencies like this. It's really cool. Which vehicle is this? Is it the motorcycle? I guess it is, isn't it? So, I think it said expired registration. Okay, so, so I'm gonna show you guys here. And the key for this is Control W. So if I actually want him to pull up. Oh look, now it's working. Of course it's gonna work when I tell you guys it don't. Well, that's a good thing, I guess it works, so. I'll just have him pull over uh, right there and then from there I'll have him follow me. So if that's gonna work, then this part should work too. It should, it should allow him, it should allow me to let him follow me. Yep, he's gonna follow me. Okay, well it's working then, all right. Well, it took a few load-ins, but I got it to work. 
All right, so now he's not following me, so I want to get out. Requesting code 2 back up. We have an officer in so vocal dispatch is still working, in, uh, if you have that. Talamino Highlands. One Adam, show me 1195. 10-4, copy that. One Adam, seven. Copy that dispatch. How's it going, man? So everything still works. Uh, and you're, you're, he's going to save Kia Flom because, like I said, everything in your mod's folder is not going to work correctly. So he's going to save Kia Flom. Hey, Kia Flom. Kia Flom. Flom. Who said, what, what is that, anyway? Who thought of that? Whoever made this game within the Rockstar company was on some serious drugs. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying. Alright, Carlos. What's his name? I have a friend named Carlos. Alright, so. Thinking of you, Carlos. Thinking of you, buddy. Dispatch in at 1027 on a Carlos Basilo DOB 5319.92 License expired. All right, uh, Mr. Basilo, hang tight right here real quick. I'll be right back. And then, of course, uh, copy light and all that still works, which I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful it still works. So we're actually going to hop in and uh, activate the copy light. And he had an expired uh, license. So that's what we're going to get in for. Create citation. Why did it have his picture as that? <laughs> That was weird. The cooperation. We need document related. There we go. Um, expired driver's license. I think it's what it was. Suspended, actually. I don't know what the really the difference is. Suspended, expired. It's all the same thing to me. Well, no, expire means they're out of date, but suspended just means they've been taken from you, I guess. So, um, it says driving that license. It says expired driver's license, but it doesn't say suspended. I don't see anything about suspended. I don't see anything about that at all. Kind of going into an episode here, right now, guys? A, a LSPDFR episode. If I can still get it to continue to work right, I'll make an episode for you guys this week. I've already got a few videos ready to go. Uh, so, um, I guess that's probably it. I mean, I don't see anything about... I see nothing about that. Under influence, driving my life. Right here, right here it is. Driving my life suspended. It's under vehicle operation. I'm still trying to learn all these things, guys. So let's go ahead and submit that ticket to him. Now, the realistic part about this CompuLite is you can actually give them the ticket. And what you do is, I know I've showed you guys this before. I'm just going to remind you. You walk back. You stand beside him, and you hit Control X. Here you go, Mr. Basilo. Here's your citation. Make sure you show up in court. And uh, have a good day. Do not leave until I get in my vehicle, please. Have a good day, sir. Be safe out there. And then once you get in your vehicle, he will take off. Black tornado, no insurance. That's jail time right there. So we're actually going to deactivate that. Now I'm going to turn on my... Uh, Speed radar light, but we're going to take the speed down, of course. 70 is a little ridiculous. We'll do 50. I'm going to pull over here just a little bit. I'm not going to get somebody for doing 53. That's ridiculous. And we're going to sit right here and wait on somebody. I can kind of hide a little bit. I guess I could hide back in there. 58. Yeah, we'll get him. 58. It's a bottle or two graphite. This car coming up right here. This is us right here. Pull it over, man. Is he, gonna run, is he gonna run on me? Whoa. Come on, man, pull over. Don't be dumb about it. Now let's see if I can get the other one to work on uh, traffic police, if I can get him to actually pull over. 
Control R. Yeah, see? Now, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's weird. I just think it's this ASI loader that does it. All right, let's try the Control W. See, now it's not working. See that, guys? Isn't that weird? So weird. Even the horn won't make it move. I don't know, guys. Anyway, that's it, guys and girls. Um, I'm going to get him out of the car vanilla style so you guys can see that still works. So get out. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Get down on the ground, get on the ground, get on the ground, on the ground. Out, on the ground, on the ground. I'm going to put one on your leg. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. I'm going to do some dirty cop stuff. Oh, great. Requesting ambulance. Alright guys, well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you for your love and support. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, follow me in my Discord for LSPFR support. And I know most of us need that right now. And we have a great support team in there for LSPDFR and, uh, you know, for issues for it and, and other questions about games if you guys want it. Um, I've got some farming simulator coming up this week. Tutorials on that. Uh, I can show I'm going to be able to uh, I'm going to show you guys real soon how to mod Farming Simulator 17 and 19. If you guys are interested in in uh, learning how to mod Farming Simulator 19 and 17, let me know in the comments below. Throw me a thumbs up. Uh, keep on going guys, keep doing what you're doing. I don't know what it is you guys are doing, but I am at 700 subscribers, guys. I'm a little over 700 subscribers. I'm at uh, I think almost 300 members in my Discord. Pretty close to that. But whatever you guys are doing, keep on doing it. Just keep on keeping on and keep pushing. Don't stop what you're doing. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.